This story happened thousands of years ago in a village, long before countries and cities existed. Back then, families lived in caves or huts. Humans hadn't invented writing yet, but could understand each other by speaking. They knew how to make fire to cook, to warm up on cold nights, and to keep wild animals away. With fire, they also dried the figurines and containers modeled with clay. They kneaded fibers from certain plants to make fabric and drew with stones or charcoal left over from the fires. To eat, they collected fruits from the forest, hunted animals, and fished. They also cultivated plants and raised animals. Women took care of the kids and the farm, while men hunted. Newborns received names. Boys were named after animals and girls after flowers. In a small village near a forest, there lived a family with a little girl named Rose. Only the bravest went into the forest. The sounds of its creatures, particularly the howl of the wolf, which they called the beast, frightened them. The wolf would prowl around their huts at night, looking for leftover food or small farm animals. They were also afraid of an old woman known to be a witch, who could dominate wild animals with her strong powers. At night, around the fire, grown-ups told scary stories so that the kids didn't venture into the woods. The kids, like all kids, were very curious about the variety and rarity of flowers and berries. Rose's father knew of her interest in the forest and warned her frequently of its dangers. 
He repeatedly mentioned his fears and reminded her of the ferocious wolf and the witch spells. Rose's curiosity led her into the forest in her search of its wonders. I want to see with my own eyes and touch with my own hands, she would say. One day, wandering about aimlessly, she went deep into the woods. Rose was very distracted as she walked among the trees when suddenly she found herself face to face with the wolf, who howled very loudly. She got scared, ran, stumbled and fell down. As she fell, she hit her head and fainted. The wolf sniffed the girl and ran to the old woman's cave. When Rose woke up, she found herself lying on something soft, warm and fluffy. She was resting on a wolf, the mother of quite a few cubs who were playing around her. The old woman offered her a hot brew. After making sure she was feeling better, they all accompanied her back to her family. The father saw them getting close, got scared and grabbed a weapon. The girl raised her hands, running towards him, screaming, No, no, they are friends! She and the old woman tried to explain to him what had happened. When he realized his mistake, he invited the old woman to share a meal with the tribe. The cubs and the children played together for the first time. Everyone lost a bit of their fear and came to understand that sometimes appearances can be deceiving. Over the years, the descendants of those wolves have become our best friends. Now, 
we call them dogs. <laughs>